YouTube to help you discussing the games I've downloaded from the Mac App Store. So starting off, uh, we're going to start off with Rail Maze. This is essentially a puzzle game where the user uh, will go through different mazes and try to solve problems with trains. I won't be opening every single one of these apps because it'll take a while. However, I'm going to briefly explain it. This is a free version and there's also a Rail Maze 2 that recently came out. Leps World is more of a venture style game. There's Leps World 1, 2, and 3 I believe right now. So again, this is a free application. It's very nice to play. Alpine Crawler is more of a hill climbing game where you can customize your acceleration and braking. You have to climb over difficult hills and avoid your car from getting damaged. A Monster A My Homework is more of a creative game where you have homework pieces and you need to shoot sort of like these balls to make the, the monsters fall down and save the homework. Blue Blocks Free is more of a logic trapping game where you have to move the blocks accordingly to escape the blue block from the puzzle. It's a very nice game, a nice clean interface. Touch Grid is basically um, a skateboarding game in which you'll actually be playing with like a skateboard and doing different tricks using trap pad maneuvering. Jet Dudes is more of a jetpack joyride like game. This is multi-platform available on the iPod, etc. It's another free game. Minesweeper is similar to the other Minesweeper games, it's just a general Minesweeper. Similar to Minesweeper Deluxe, they're both free. Real Racing 2 is around $10. This is a very nice game. It's a realistic racing simulator. You can control it using your iPod Touch. It's a very nice application. You guys should check it out. Dirt 2 is more of a rally car racer. It's very nice, but it's pretty expensive. It's $30, but it has Retina optimization and it runs very well on my iPod Pro with Retina display. You boot is similar somewhat to Jet Dudes. Essentially, it's more of a going up and down jetpack joyride like game. Minecraft. This was not purchased from the Mac App Store, but it's more of a block building game. Civilization 4 and Civilization 5, which I'm downloading right now, are more of like a civilization strategy type game. Pocket Plane is more of a time consuming uh, airplane collection game where you collect airplane deliver cargo. It's one of those games that takes a longer time and you have to wait for cargo to be delivered. Super Mega Worm is more of a, a bit style game where you go up and down, different challenges, etc. Blot is just a similar game, I haven't played it significantly. Uh, screen Tennis, essentially you're playing ping pong on a screen as the ball is going back and forth, back and forth. Plants vs Zombies, you basically have to position plants to conquer zombies that are coming towards your home. They're coming in this direction from right to left and you need to save it from going inside your house. It's a lot of fun, it's very creative. I enjoy this app, it costs money, but however it's worth it. It's also multi-platform from the iPad and iPhone. Uber Strike is more of an FPS shooter game, especially on the multiplayer. It's very nice and it's free. Cuban 2, as I already reviewed on this channel, um, essentially, oops, essentially allows you to play like a, a strategy game, which is a very nice game. Uh, this application is 99 cents, I believe, at the time of purchase, so Cuban 2 is a must-have. Uh, Armando is basically a, like a 3D adventure type game, where you're jumping over obstacles, it's very nice. Flight Control HD is basically being a flight control attendant and then planes come in and you have to redirect them to runways. Chess is just simply chess. RC Mini Razors, as I've already reviewed, is essentially a car driving RC simulator. It's very nice, it's more of arcade style, fast paced. Bus Driver is a bus driving simulator which allows the user uh, to go through different uh, stations, dropping off people with different buses, for example double decker buses. It's a lot of fun. Mahjong Solitaire is essentially a solitaire game. Mind Super Deluxe is a Mind Super. This is more of a world type game, similar to Civilization 4 and 5. It's very nice and it's a free application. Screen Snake is essentially a snake game on the computer. And these are all Pappy games with a variety of different purposes. They're all free, so you guys can just check them out over here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very short video. I'm sorry I didn't preview each one, but I'm trying to keep my videos as short as possible. Thank you for watching. Comment below if you have any concerns and please rate this video. Thanks for watching.